I want us to see what is a Christian. What is a follower of Jesus Christ? Oh, there are many people that have an idea that if you're born in a Christian country, that you're a Christian. Many people have an idea if you have Christian parents, you're automatically a Christian. But the Bible says you cannot inherit Christianity. It's not by flesh and blood, nor the will of man. There is nothing that you can do to automatically make yourself acceptable to the kingdom of God. You can go to church. You can live a decent life. You can be a good, moral, virtuous person, but that does not make you a Christian. Now, the first thing is a Christian is a person that has made a choice. You've made a decision. You've had an encounter with the living God. You've received Christ into your heart. That is the first step in being a Christian. Has that happened to you? Has there come a moment in your life when you repented of your sins? When you acknowledge that you're a sinner, when you said, Oh God, I'm willing to turn from my sins. And then by faith, you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now that's the starting point. No one can live the Christian life until first he's been to the cross and received Christ as Savior. But then after that, something else must take place. The second thing is a change must take place in your life. The Bible says old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. There must be a definite change in the way you live. A change in your attitude toward God. You must love God supremely. You must put God first in all the choices and decisions of your life. There must be a change in your attitude toward yourself. No longer are you egocentric. No longer are you selfish. No longer is everything done just for self and to please self. There must also be a change in your attitude toward your neighbor. You must love your neighbor as yourself. And so there must be a change in your life. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Have you given yourself to Jesus Christ? Do you know that you had this encounter with him and has a change taken place in the way you live and in your attitude? If not, you may not be a Christian. You may think that you're a Christian, but you're not. Because a Christian is a person that has received Christ and a change has taken place in the way he lives. Thirdly, a Christian is a person that has accepted a challenge. The challenge of Christ. Christ said, if any man will come after me, let him deny self, take up his cross and follow me. He says, unless you're willing to accept my challenge, and to live for me, you cannot be my follower. And most people are not willing to do that. Most people are not willing to take their stand for Christ. Most people are not willing to stand up and be counted when it comes to surrendering to Christ. All right, that's a Christian. Christ dwelling in the heart, a personal encounter with Christ, receiving Christ as Savior and Lord. That is a Christian.